Okay, guess we're doing just fine. Said I'm not yours, so I see. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monsters video. So recently, I ranked up my armor cloud to rank four. If you've missed the first part where I ranked him up to rank two then you should watch it. Uh, but I got him to rank 3 and then after that rank 4 because I had enough ambers to actually get him to rank 4. Now I think I have what? 500, 700 ambers, almost 800 um, ambers left. But um, I basically wasted about 8,000 to 9,000, no. 6,000 to 7,000, somewhere around 8,000 maybe um, of ambers getting this monster to uh, basically uh, rank 4, which is level 140. And I haven't fed him up yet. I'm going to feed him up right now. Um, I think there's a rune lords going on. I wish there was a, I wish there was a food spurt going on. So then I could have, when I fed the monster up, I could have gotten a bunch of uh, points basically in the leaderboard. But anyways, I'm gonna go in and collect all of this. And where is my armor claw? <laughs> Somewhere right here, right? Where my fire monsters are. Okay, so you guys can see it is rank four. Um, last episode or last video that I made on Armor Club when I ranked them to rank 2 I swapped the runes and I gave them the level 7 so basically all level 7 runes now it was a, like a level 5 speed rune or something but now it's level 7 and it takes about 31k food for level 20 okay you guys can see it you guys can check it out for yourself uh, dream big no I'm good alright I should probably turn off that setting how the skills Shouldn't pop up. I don't know why it's popping up. But anyways, we got it to level 140. And uh, it is one more rank away from its max. And now the stats. Here are the stats. 28,724 strength. Uh, 137k life. Basically almost 138k. Um, and then speed is 8,986. So what we're going to do is use this monster on PvP. And we're gonna see how powerful he is now. So let me go on and open up this thing real quick. And is it just me or recently I've been getting a bunch of tier 1 chests on PvP? I'm not sure if I'm the only one though. I'm running two tanks. One is the attacker of course, tank attacker. And then I have my Megaton tank. And then I have my denier of course. But yeah, um, I don't know what's up with that though. Recently I've been getting way too many tier 1 chests. Even after the nerf, I, I used to get um, a bunch of tier 5s and then it just stopped. And now I'm getting a bunch of tier 1s and stuff. Uh, so anyways, they have to recharge, so look at Armor Claw now. I could do, how much that is? 85k for the AoE skill, and if I use a single one, I could actually apply the ignition and that ignition will eliminate him unless he restores it. I'm pretty sure he will though. So in that case, we could just do damage, because he's probably going to apply immune to control and just restore basically. Yeah, see, I knew it. Um, here's what I'll do in this case. Oh, there's a there's a taunt. We could just apply the days and hopefully we could rely on that. Okay, cool. And I have two tanks anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Save Rossi God. The uh, the thing I like about Armor Claw is that the Save Rossi God skill, it's a spamble skill, so you can use it every time. Oh, why did I use that? I just noticed it. They had um they had immune to torture. Alright, let's go ahead and remove his stamina fully. We'll do the single skill. That eliminates him. And then I'm gonna have to charge up here. I could have applied the total damage reduction, I think, but it's fine, it's whatever. So then I get the next turn, I could OTK him, bam, he dies. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the zero damage with the CD. And bam. Alright. Victory. So that was my first battle slash first win with the rank 4 armor claw. Oh, I finally get a tier 4. Nice. Alright, cool. I'll take it. And then let me go on and open up this tier 1. We get 75k food. So normally I run this team slash sometimes I swap like on Dano with the other mythic, um, Gaijigo. But like, hold on, Grieve Amulet? We should probably swap this. Let's go with, um, let's go with this one. No, I'm using that in wars. But then this other Shadowlord's amulet is being used by um, Ragnarok. I guess we could quickly swap it. Sure, it's it's whatever. And then a staff, sure. Um, actually, I think it was, I think it was better with the trainer staff, right? I think we were better off with the trainer staff. I don't think I need like King of the Lances or whatever because, yeah, I don't know. I just don't. I don't think I need it. But with that being said. 
This is good. And this is my defense team that I'm running right now. Oh, wait, I'm not even running Ragnarok on my defense? I thought I was. Okay, then we're good in that case. Let's go on and fight. Boarding battle. Let's see who we go up against. 96 player. We, oh, it's a 130, 130, and 130. Yikes. Okay. I haven't seen Wormlight in a while, so it's cool seeing him. Um, two and Spaders. Let me get rid of at least one of them for now. And shares as Amelie kicks in. That's why I like shares as Amelie. The fact that it just drains the stamina. So good. Was that a CD? No, it, it wasn't. Oh, look at this. Look how powerful this is. Holy cow. Bam. 100k on the, uh, on the Resurrector and then I don't know how much it was on the other. But let's go ahead and remove the stamina thing. Get the next churn again. And normally... Uh, this this is how I run it. So let's say if uh, Armor Claw had any negatives or anything, like he had a bunch of stuns or whatever. Not stuns, actually, because he's immune to stun. Um, but let's say if he was hit with a bunch of tortures or whatever, I could go ahead and use Hardened and like remove that fully. But in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and use it on my tank. So he has immune to control and I removed all the negatives. I'm going to go ahead and OTK him. He's going to come back. Um, I can't really do much with him. I'll just go ahead and remove the stamina, I guess. I mean, he's going to be dead anyways, but I just wanted to wanted him to recharge because I saw the turns on top. So here we go. Finish it off. Remember to subscribe. Almost at 90k damage right there. So, um, I don't know if I'll be getting Armor Club to rank 5. I don't know. Like, rank 4 is good enough, I, I feel like. I don't think I have to get him to rank 5. I don't think it's a... Yeah, I don't think it's that necessary. I might actually just use uh, the rest of my orbs. Or Mythic Ambers, right? The ones that I get later on. I might just use it on a different Mythic. Let me know in the comments down below who you think it's actually worth using on or racing on. Because, yeah, I'll just have to see. I don't I don't think I'll do Vastus now. And Vanos 2099 is like an upgraded version of Vastus, basically. Anyways. So, okay, we're going up against Noah. He has tank armor clock. Cool. But the, what is that? What is that, uh, Rune? It is what it is. Alright, so I get the first churn. I could go ahead and stamina drain, and then my shares is Amelie kicks in, does more damage. So they have Drown now, and then I also did that. Save Rossi got completely wiped all of them. Look at that. Almost 100k on all of them. But we could quickly give it a try, see how this goes. Alright, so... We're not going up against any Ant Speeders, which is good. So, um, I don't think my Man of Heat is going to take the first turn. Let's see who's faster. I'm pretty sure Armor Claw is faster, yeah. So Armor Claw is going to take the first turn. Or not, okay. I didn't even check their uh, speed. But it's okay, because he just went for the total damage reduction with the CDA, I believe. So what I could do is save Rossi, just like that. And then Man of Heat is going to take the next turn. What I could quickly do is... Come on, come on, come on. I can have Atlantis. Charging Banner. Okay, so trade the table. We're going to go ahead and put it on 4x speed. We're going to go ahead and do to excuse me. We don't have to trade to save him, do we? Yeah, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to wipe them out with um, Armor Claw anyways. So there we go. Bam. Now it's just Armor Claw versus another Armor Claw versus Mana Fusion and um, the pet. But here we go. Finished it off with 79k damage. But save Rossi. Okay. Nice. I am currently, what league am I in? I think I'm in Legendary 4 League right now, right? I have about 6,900 basically, 6,900. If I get to top 500, I could, you know, I, I just have, wait, hold on, let me check the rankings. What top am I in right now? It's 4,000. And the top 100 has 10,000 trophies, are you serious? Wow. 11,000? Dang, that's just... You guys remember back then when, like I'm talking about like long, long time ago, like a couple years ago, the old PvP, like the leaderboard bunch of players used to have like 25k, 26k trophies, basically. It, it was, it was kind of crazy. All right, <laughs> wipe them out. Yeah, so I think um, rank 4 armor class is probably going to carry me up to probably, let's see, hmm, if I had to guess correctly... Maybe to the next league, Legendary 3. So that would be top 3, top 500 actually. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to see. 
So right now I'm using Mana Fusion for a few battles, but I'm not going to be running Mana Fusion too much, too often. I'm probably going to switch her up with a different monster because if I go up against a Megaton plus Antivator, then I'm kind of screwed. Or maybe if there's two Antivators, then I'm kind of screwed there. Uh, th this one has only one Antivator in this case, so it won't be that big of a deal. And the fact that she starts off with the positive effect protection plus the, um, what's it called? The evasion actually kind of helps her out. And another thing is that if she goes up against Vanos 2099, then she's screwed. She's actually screwed. So you gotta watch out from that. But as long as you're not going up against Vanos or something, or let's say the enemy is not taking like two to three turns where they clear all your positives and everything, then you're screwed. Then in that case, you're actually screwed. Save Rossi again. All right, let's see, let's see. Orms Blasts, okay, finishes him off, and I'm gonna use Remark Subscribe, and then we're just gonna go ahead and apply that, and we finish it off. Okay, victory. Yeah, I won all of my battles so far, I just noticed. Like, I haven't lost any. So maybe I could um, use Armor Club to get myself up to Legendary 2 League. Oh, I'm already in Legendary 3 League. I thought I was in Legendary 4. Okay, dang. That's that's good, I guess. So yeah, I just gotta get to top 500 when I'll for Legendary 2 and that's yeah I guess that's where I'll stay for now but later on I might grind off for the next league Legendary 1 if I can but I'll have to see I'll need better monsters in that case anyways guys that's going to be pretty much it for today's video me testing out my rank 4 armor claw let me know who you think I should rank up to another rank next I'm talking about one of the mythics not cosmic mythics but the actual mythics like these ones right here but yeah, anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.